Jennifer at Jennifer at Home, and I'm super happy and super grateful you're here. Today, I am taking on my entire house. I am gonna do a whole house declutter. Yes, that's right. Every room and even my garage. I'm gonna go around and gather up things that I can take to the donation center. Let's get started and see how many things we can find to donate today. Okay, friends, real quick, I brought out the shout out jar. And here I have the names of some of my very most favorite channels. Who is it gonna be today getting the shout out? Let me reach in and pick one of the names. Okay, I've got one here. Today's shout out goes to MT Paradise, one of my most favorite channels of all time. MT Paradise, be sure and go check out MT Paradise. Okay, so when we had the house repainted, there was some extra paint. So there's not very much in here. So we picked this up and in order to declutter this garage and clean things up, the remaining paint that's in here will go in here and you can get this at any home store. They have them at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. It's just an empty paint can. They're two or three dollars. And we'll put this in here and then we can throw this big empty jug away. If at all possible, always try to remove the label from your paint can but when you're putting it in a small can, and that way you'll have all of the information in case you ever need to get it remixed. And don't forget to label the lid as well. I also have these light bulbs in my garage. I'm gonna donate these because we no longer need them and we've replaced all of the light bulbs in our overhead lighting in our kitchen and living room. So these are just bulbs that we don't need and I'm gonna be donating these as well. I have plenty of containers for leftovers. I do not need these disposable containers for meat packages. I'll put these in the recycling bin right now. I'm gonna start going through my kitchen cabinets right now and looking for some things that I know I really need to get rid of. I recently bought some of these muffin pans and they're a silicone and they pop up so you can put the muffin in. They don't take any amount of space at all. So I'm gonna replace some of my big metal muffin pans with those. And I have this really large skillet that's very heavy and I don't enjoy using it. All of these things can come out and I can sort through these and see what I can get rid of. I have so many metal cooling racks and I don't need all of these. I think I'll go through and I'll just pick out the two that I like the best and I'll just hang on to those. These two should work just fine. They're the same size and the same design and they sit nicely side by side and they stack together. I'll just keep these two and I'll let these two go. I certainly don't need this many muffin pans. I think I can let these go. And this one as well. I think I'll just keep these silicone muffin pans and maybe this one that makes small muffins until I can replace it with a new one. I'm letting go of all of these things just from one drawer. Let's keep moving along and see what else we can find to donate or throw away. In this drawer, I just have the small muffin pan, the two regular silicone muffin pans, and the two cooling racks. That's all I need in that drawer. Right above the cabinet we just cleared out, I have my spice drawer. And I see here in my spice drawer, we have some chili sauce from the Chinese restaurant. We have some red pepper flakes from getting pizza, some Arby's sauce from the Arby's restaurant, some more chili sauce from the Chinese restaurant. We don't need all of these sauces and things in our drawers. We're not gonna be using these, so this is time to let these go. While I'm here working on this drawer, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my big plastic containers 
with my spices in them and seasonings and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the glass jars and refill all of the glass jars and recycle the plastic containers that the spices and seasonings came in. This is also a really great time to go through your cabinets and take out and discard anything that has expired or that you no longer plan to make or fix for a meal. I have a new knife that I just recently purchased and I'm going to take this new knife and replace the old one that I don't use anymore and it never really stays sharp anyway. So this is a good time to donate the old one and replace it with a brand new one. I did some cleaning and clearing out in some cabinets and I have all of these containers now that are empty and I'll be able to donate all of these empty containers, hanging baskets, risers, organizing trays, little bins and baskets. All of these things are things that I no longer need because I've emptied out and gotten rid of all of the things that I was using with these containers. So all of these containers will be able to be donated as well. I have gone through and sorted out and packaged up all of my excess Christmas donations. I have all of these things boxed and wrapped up and ready to donate as well. I just purchased these new dinner plates, so I'm going to get these washed up and trade them out with the other dinner plates in the cabinet. I'll package those up and put them with my donations. I've gone through my linen closet as well, and I have a few blankets that I can donate. We don't use these, and there's no need keeping them if we aren't going to use them. I have some new towels in my linen closet. I'm going to take these and put them in my bathroom after I've washed them, and I'll use these to replace my old ones. We just updated the bathroom light fixtures in our bathrooms, so I'm going to be donating the old light fixtures. We just had our house painted and the light fixtures are all changed out. I have some of the old exterior light fixtures from our patio and I'm going to donate those as well. I just went through my dining room hutch and I took out all of the excess glassware that I no longer needed. I put it all together, I'm going to wrap it up and donate that today too. I've also gone through the shoes and gathered up a tremendous amount of shoes to donate. I'm going to put these in bags and donate these shoes also. I had all of these things in my guest room closet. They're completely unnecessary. I took them all out and I'm taking the shelf to my daughter to give to her for her Poshmark store that she keeps organized in her home. The other things can all be donated. I went through my closet last night and I have so many things to donate. I pulled out coats, dresses, purses, shoes, tote bags, boots, all these things I'll be giving to my daughter to sell in her Poshmark store. I put them in black bags and boxes so that I wouldn't see them and second guess any of the items I pulled aside to donate. Well, I cannot even believe how many things we had to donate. And remember, you don't have to start big. You don't have to do every room in your house, but you can walk through and just look for little things here and there. Things you aren't using, things you aren't going to use again, and things you really don't need. So it was really great to walk through and look around and find things in every place in every corner of my house. I cannot believe how much we gathered up overall. Let's take these things and get them dropped off before we change our mind or bring anything back into our space. I really appreciate you being here today. It truly encouraged me to get on with this project and get these things gathered up and donated. I was so happy when I got these things dropped up just a few minutes ago at the donation center. Now I'm back home and I can look around and feel that my spaces are cleaner and I'm so much happier. I seriously doubt I will miss any of these things that I have donated. I'm so glad they're gone once and for all. I truly hope that this has encouraged you and inspired you to get on with your spaces. I marked my calendar and I knew that today, this Saturday, that my husband and I were going to start going around and finding things that we didn't need and pulling things out here and there. We didn't have to do an extremely detailed task. We were just looking for things that we spotted right off the bat. 
things we quickly saw that we could donate that we really didn't need. I hope you'll mark your calendar and get on with a whole house declutter as well. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and hit that thumbs up button too. And I'll see you next time.